Hi everyone, this is Jogi Veera, PhD student from Center for Nanotechnology, IIT Gauhati. So today I am explaining about thermal evaporator. Mostly the purpose of the thermal evaporator is like it is a physical evaporation method. So we can melt, uh, evaporate the metals to make the top electrode in the electro uh, electronic devices. And we can also deposit thin films by using this. So this system contains both thermal evaporator and, and e-beam system also. So mostly it has two setups. So this is for e-beam setup and we have uh, evaporation system also. So there we will use tungsten filament so for the deposition system and all. And it has uh, two different uh, pumps. One is like rotary pump to create the rough vacuum and the high vacuum pump. So this is for uh, turbo pump, turbo molecular pump. So this is for uh, high vacuum, 10 power minus 6 it will come. And this system is connected with uh, backing also. So initially we will run the rotary pump and we will run the turbo, high vacuum pump, high vacuum pump. So then after reaching the desired pressure like 10 power minus 6 range, then we will start the deposition. So after deposition we will take it out the samples. So this is for the purpose of making top electrodes, metal electrodes, so for any electronic device. So this is the substrate holder where we will keep our material. So like substrate kind of thing where we want to deposit. So here we are trying to deposit, make a pattern of ID. So and we are using one more glass slide to check the thickness and all. So this system also have thickness case. So we can also see that one. And now I will load the So we have kept the substrate. So this is a tungsten filament. So here we will keep our target material. So whatever material we want to deposit. So now we are doing uh, aluminium. This is the top cover to protect excess deposition. So we have fixed the filament. Now we are keeping the material. So this is aluminium. So we are going to deposit today. So once everything is done, I am just checking. Once we have properly loaded all the thing, both the substrate and also filament and required material, so then we will create the rough vacuum by using rotary pump. So, so once it reaches 10 power minus 2 range, then we will do roughing. Once we have, we have done backing and then we will change to roughing then we will go for the high vacuum. So once the backing pressure reaches 10 power minus 2, so then we will change it to roughing mode. So in the roughing, the vacuum pump will take it out the all the gases in the chamber and it will make evacuate. So, so the purpose of making the chamber is to evaporate the material and to get the clean environment. So once if it reaches 5 into 10 power minus 2 and below that, then we can switch on the high vacuum. And now I am switching on the turbo. So we need to wait until the turbo will get full speed. Then we will switch on the high vacuum valve. So then we will wait uh, up to 10 power minus 6. Then we will go for the deposition. So until that we will wait until we will reach 10 power minus 6. It will take hardly two and a half hours to reach the high vacuum. 
So now we have switched on the turbo. So turbo is on. Now we will switch on the high vacuum valve. Once the high vacuum valve is on, then we can go for pending gauge to check the vacuum. So now you can observe that there is a drop in the pressure. So it is reaching minus 4 and then it will reach minus 5 and then minus 6. So once it reaches minus 6, then we can go for the deposition. So now the required pressure came. So 4 into 10 power minus 6. Now we can go for the deposition process. So here we are using resistive heating and to deposit the material. So now I am going to give the current to the filament. So we need to increase very slow ramping of current, otherwise the filament will get damaged and also we won't get the good deposition. So once I optimize the current, so at that evaporation will be very good. So that optimization is done for different different materials. But different materials have a different uh, evaporation thing. So now, so the, the evaporation process is going on. And then I will wait for some time. So here you can see the deposition rate. So we are getting around 0.5 angstrom per second. So depending upon the deposition rate and whatever thickness we need, up to that we will wait and then we will close the shutters. So then we can get uh, optimized thickness, whatever thickness we want, desired thickness, we can deposit here. So we will wait for 2 minutes approximately, we will see how much deposition is going on and then we will stop. So now the deposition is done. So we are reduce the current to zero and then we can switch off. And then parallelly we can switch off these things also, pending gauge. And the high vacuum wall. Then turbo also I am switching off, so I am waiting for some time. So then only I will switch off the whole system. So now we need to vent the system. So by using vent valve. So we are using nitrogen gas for venting. So once the venting is done, then I will close the vent valve and now we can open the
so now the deposition you can see so it is properly deposited so like this we can make a top electrodes and all on the devices